Você encontra canecas térmicas, adesivos e camisetas estampadas da sua distribuição Linux favorita e muito mais na Dio Store. Acesse www.dilstore.com.br Welcome boys and girls to my YouTube channel and I'm here today with Rupert. Is this a pronunciation, Rupert? Yes, Rupert is correct. I'm the game director of Fox and Forests. Good. Thank you for accepting my invitation, Rupert. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Well, it's a great pleasure to receive you here since uh, you're the first man I'm interviewing that developed games. Well, I'm here just to make a few questions. Uh, First of all, can you introduce yourself? Where you're from, what you do, what you did in the past? Yes, of course. Uh, so I'm Rupert, I am the game director of Fox and Forests. And Fox and Forests is a 16-bit style action platformer that was just funded on Kickstarter last, uh, last month. And um, yeah, uh, it's the first game of uh, my new company, Bonus Level Entertainment, that I founded with uh, Holger which is actually my ex-boss. So uh, it's pretty funny, you know. Ten years ago, I started to work in the games industry as animator level designer at independent arts software, and Holger was my boss. And then, after five years, I m moved to another company, and then uh, my last company was Deep Silver. I worked there for three and a half years as senior brand manager and I was responsible for, uh, for the marketing campaign of that island and Saints Row. Uh, but last year I thought, nah, you know, my real dream is not animation or level design or marketing. My real dream is to make like my own Super Nintendo game because I'm a, such a big Super Nintendo fan. So I quit my job at Deep Silver last year and um, I was looking for a partner to found a new company so we can make 16-bit uh, uh, games. And yeah, funny enough, my partner is my ex-boss Holger from Independent Art Software. And we then founded Bonus Level Entertainment and Fox and Forests uh, with our first game that we successfully funded on Kickstarter. Good. That was the second question. This is the first game of the company, right? Good. But you intend to make more games and uh, bring more games to life, right? Yes, this is true. Um, the company slogan of Bonus Level Entertainment is Reinventing 16-Bit. And me and my team, um, um, so Fox and Forest is a co-development between Bonus Level Entertainment and stuff at Independent Art Software. So me and my team, we all love 16-Bit games. We love Super Nintendo and Mega Drive and we think it was the golden age of gaming. So you know, all these positive emotions you have from your childhood when you were playing old games, you know, on your computer um, and uh, on the consoles. We, win we want to bring back these emotions and we want to make 16-bit games. Our first game is Fox and Forest, but you know, we have many ideas. Maybe we will do a shooter next or we will do a Contra style game next uh, or an art type style game, but we always want to stay in the 16-bit style. So we want to merge the 16-bit look and feel with modern game design. Uh, you know, uh, Super Nintendo uh, had special tips, uh, special graphic tips. Uh, for example, Mega Man used a special chip called CS4, something like this. This chip uh, could put uh, special features inside the game, for example, polygons, and semi-transparency. Do you tend to use this kind of features inside the game? It's a difficult. Hello? Okay, so um, the answer to this question uh -huh. is... Uh, ah, yes, I'm here. Uh, I'm, okay. I, I got your question. And, uh, you know, we are really trying to limit ourselves in order to have an original Super Nintendo look and feel. So we, we are using uh, reduced color palettes. We are not making uh, too big sprite, too many big sprites. Also, when we are doing the sound, we are not using more uh, sound spaces, sound banks than the Super Nintendo had. So we really wanna 
don't want to just have a game that looks similar to 16-bit, we really, really want to copy the Super Nintendo style and we're limiting ourselves in order to have uh, the Super Nintendo look and feel. Of course, since we are a modern game, there are a few exceptions. So one exception would be that we don't have 4 to 3 but 16 to 9 aspects ratio. And the other exception is that, as you just said it, of course we're gonna do the maximum what the Super Nintendo could do, right? So we're gonna use this half transparency effect and we're gonna use mode 7 and uh, maybe also some, some uh, little 3D effects, but only stuff that the Super Nintendo could only do. Um, we are lucky, of course, that we can do a bit more than the Super Nintendo in terms of file size, because we don't have cartridges these days, right? And we don't have to limit ourselves to cartridges. I think Final Fantasy VI was the biggest cartridge, if I remember, with 512 MB. So, of course, uh, you know, we can use as much space as we want. And what about Android? Because I saw uh, the, game, uh, the game is going to be developed for Windows, Mac, Linux, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Nintendo MS. But what about Android and iOS? Do you think to bring it to Android and iOS? Uh, first, I would like to say uh, that uh, the programmers of our team are very, very huge Linux fans. So uh, we developed <laughs> we developed the game in Unity, and we already have. Uh, uh, we already had a test on Linux, so no pro no worries here, it's gonna look awesome on Linux as well. And yes, uh, it is possible to do Android as well because of Unity, but, at the, but we do not want to do Android because of the gameplay. We think that to have this Super Nintendo 16-bit look and feel, the gameplay is very important and we don't think with a touch screen we can, uh, have, the same, uh, we can have the same experience. Yeah, it's a little bit closer to the game. Question this for me. Well, so I believe that's all the questions uh, I have for today. I don't want to take more of your time because much of the time because I believe you are too busy. Yes, we're very busy, but we love what we are doing, and uh, what keeps us most motivated are people like you and uh, your followers that you know uh, like what we are doing and that are supporting us. It's really very good to see that you know not only we want to see a Super Nintendo a 16-bit game but also the people out there um, want to see this game. So that motivates us. So thank you very much for your time. And uh, I wish you have a good day. And uh, maybe we will talk soon in a couple of months when we have more to show of Fox and Forest. Sure, we are going to talk more about it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Gabriel. Then uh, have a great day and talk to you soon. Yes.